We need this. We need this. And we need this. Let's go. My dad cut the grass the other day. And look how he left my car. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but look. Literally grass pieces all over, and it looks disgusting. So first things first, we're gonna put this on the Genesis Coupe. Then we peel this 3M tape off, like so. And then, we put it right there on the push your start button. I'm pretty sure if I can put it like, not even straight. But oh well, it's already on that bitch. So, it's a little carbon fiber piece. This looks like that. And when you turn on the car, what the fuck, focus. When you turn on, when you want to turn on the car, just and then douche. It's a little small, little mod modification, but it just looks cool, I guess, in my opinion. Close it, open, push it start. Hey, welcome, guys. It is your boy Fat Boy, aka Fat Boy Sneakers. Welcome to another freaking video. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be installing a brand new clutch. It's the competition stage two clutch, which everybody has been telling me to get. Uh, literally everyone in like it's either the ACT clutch, which I was told by two people, and then the competition stage two that, that I was told by literally 30 people. Because I'm in like Facebook group chats and stuff. I asked around, everybody told me to get the competition two clutch. And yeah, it finally came in after a week. My car's been sitting. Uh, the reason why is because I blew my clutch I try to do a launch from 0 to 60 to test out my 0 to 60 my clutch was already on its last leg and um, yeah I fucked up the clutch so I basically blew it out same with the throw out bearing so yeah I had to order that too which they're both here this is a throw out bearing Let's see if you guys can see that. You guys right there. that's the throw out bearing and the stuff you need for the insulation and here's the clutch itself it's a clutch kit kit as you guys can tell uh stage two stage three stage four blah 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 it literally has everything you need to install it and it comes with this as well it just came in a separate box but yeah a shout out to shop btr because they literally have sold me the e85 kit which out them i had to buy it separately and without them if i had to buy it separately it would have been like more than what i paid for which would have been like over 500 dollars and i only paid 400 dollars in their site clutch kit same as well they only had the kit i mean they sold the whole kit without me buying the separate parts which obviously is it's better so right now i'm in the car because we are gonna wait for the tow truck the tow truck is gonna come pick it up i'm gonna drop it off at the shop yeah we're gonna just leave it there for out the day they're gonna install the clutch and everything and hopefully that's the problem because the other problem could be my transmission, which I hope to God it isn't because if it is my transmission, I'm gonna have to get rid of the car or just leave it in here to like literally sit and collect dust for the rest of its life. But let me show you guys the problem real quick. So if I turn on the car, it's a good time to test this thing out. Clutch in, oh, let me put it in neutral. Clutch in, turn on the car. So what happens is my clutch is in, right? So it doesn't lock into gear, like at all. It's just stuck on neutral, and it's hard for it to lock on first gear. Like it doesn't go, like see? And people said it was a clutch, the throw out bearing or whatever. So yeah, I can't drive without it unless I turn it off. If I turn it off, and then put it on second, because look, when it's off, it goes on gear. It's three, four, blah, blah, blah. So the only way I can actually drive it as if I turn it off, put it on second gear, and then turn it on, and it goes. But I can only leave it on second gear because after second gear, it doesn't lock on any other gears. So I would have to drive for second gear, which is kind of dumb. But yeah, I also ordered a short shifter, but it didn't come, and I was supposed to install it with the clutch, but it didn't come in time. So I have to call them and see what's going on um, and get that installed another day. But yeah, so yeah, guys, that's it. We're just pretty much going to wait for the tow trucks to get here. And that's all we can do, to be honest. I'll update you guys when I can. Okay, so literally after two, three hours, the tow truck finally came. So I'll hit you guys back up, I guess, when I'm at the shop. I'm going to talk to these guys, make sure they don't mess anything up. Hopefully, we get that clutch in today. Because, again, my appointment was at 930, and it's already like 1048. So hopefully, they let me bring in my car. One week later. Welcome back and it has been literally like what a week since I last recorded that my car ended up being at the shop for I think it was three days I only took one day for them to work on it 
but it was just there because they were backed up and they had a lot of cars which is definitely totally understandable they're a busy shop so you know they took their time they did a good job they finally did install the clutch in and it finally works and it goes into gear and everything so that's good um the only downside right now i'm not saying it's the shop's fault actually it's nobody's fault it's just the car's fault it the clutch is breaking in uh it does have a 500 miles to 700 mile break in so it does make a little ticking noise if it does if it's not gone by then then i'm definitely gonna take it to get it looked out looked at maybe they left something loose maybe or maybe it's just something wrong with the car that has nothing to do with that so yeah so the car is good let me tell you guys um the clutch it feels definitely nicer you can definitely tell and feel the difference which obviously i have to get used to it when i am driving uh i've stalled once uh, which is crazy is a huge huge difference i don't know if it's just my genesis but my clutch my stock clutch used to be super super sticky to the point where you could definitely feel the bite point and like i don't know i feel like it's I don't know if it was just my car or any other Genesis again, but it was super sticky, so I don't really know how to describe it. But now the clutch feels really, really soft. So again, it's a huge difference, definitely. So I gotta get used to it. And yeah, so definitely, hopefully, Wednesday, I told him that I can bring the car back up. I'm gonna get it looked at, but I'm also gonna be installing the short shifter, which uh, this is the shifter I have now obviously so the short shifter is basically what the name is it's just you know a short shifter if you guys don't know what it is i suggest you take a look at it but if you do know and you found this video because you searched for it i actually have the box inside my house so i will show you guys the parts and yeah so yeah i just got my car like back like two days ago so i'm still getting used to it like car people know that if you don't have your car if you're not driving your car like it feels definitely like a part of you is missing i know it sounds so fucking gay and sus but trust me like my car is part of me and missing and not being able to drive my car really sucked but i'm happy 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 that it's uh back to being normal and uh yeah new clutch in by the way i really really do recommend that clutch again stage two i think it was like a thousand dollars i did get recommended the act but it didn't have the kit and uh, i ended up buying a kit which it was cheaper and i know i'm not supposed to go cheap with clutches but again a lot a lot of people recommended me this clutch so i'm glad for that i'm glad for people that responded to me on facebook and uh here we are now and no complaints so far yeah i guess i'll catch you guys when i install the short shifter and i don't know if you guys can hear that sound but um uh, you guys probably won't be able to hear it but yeah it does this weird sound again like i said it was part it probably is because the clutch is breaking in but to show you guys that it works again like i can finally go into first gear second gear you know whatever gear fourth gear and stuff like that um back then i couldn't so yeah obviously it works it's drivable yes just wanted to show you guys that it does work so guys this is the short shifter kit um take everything out show you guys real quick so this is what the kit brings so it brings the shifter itself right that's how the shifter looks like and i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i don't know what any of this is camera will focus <laughs> I, I just know it's a kit and obviously he's gonna help the short shifter but again, I'm gonna be completely honest, and I have no idea what any of this is actually is or what it does. So yeah, I'm gonna just trust the shop and hope they can install it right. But yeah, I know this probably goes into there, right? Here, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go get it installed. Now I'll check with you guys when I'm done. Hey guys, it's been about another two weeks since I've had the new clutch and, and a new shifter. I just wanted to wait on recording it because I wanted to break everything in, the shifter and the new clutch. And honestly guys, I am so, so, so happy with the results. This is the shifter. I don't know if you guys can tell on how short it is, but it definitely is shorter. And you can definitely hear and feel when you change uh, gears. Like if I put in first right now, like that, second, third, fourth, like you guys can hear it and you can feel it for sure. It's definitely shorter, it's definitely faster, definitely feels good. Uh, and it's stiffer. My old one used to be like all wobbly and stuff. This one's definitely stiffer and it feels 10 times better. So yeah guys, overall, 
I'll give the shifter a 10 out of 10 because it did do its job. It's shorter, it looks better, it changes gears way faster. And again, it just 10 out of 10 feels great, shifts great and everything. Now for the clutch, uh, I told you guys there was a clutch chatter and it turns out that most likely like seven out of 10, that clutch chatter won't go away because it is a con of the clutch, of the competition stage two clutch. Um, I've heard about a, a lot of reviews saying that a lot of people got the clutch shatter. It doesn't mean that anything's broken. It just It's just one of the cons that the clutch brings. Uh, right now, it's not making the noise, surprisingly. Oh, you can, I can kind of hear it, but you guys won't be able to hear it. The camera won't pick it up. But yes, that is overall. So I give the clutch an eight out of 10. If it wasn't for that clutch shatter, it would be the best thing I've ever purchased for the car. It feels amazing. It changes gears so, super, super fast. Like when you press in the clutch, it's so soft like butter. And it's like, again, it feels amazing. The only downside is, is just that clutch shatter. I already broke it in. I already put 500 to 700 miles. I haven't really done the calculations, but around there. Yeah, overall, both products have been good. And if you guys, you know, watching it because of this, because you guys are thinking about changing your clutch or a short shifter, I do definitely, definitely recommend these two. I'll leave the link down below for both of these items. Again, the clutch is amazing. It's perfect. It's just seven out of 10 chances that you will have a clutch shatter, uh, which is a downside. It doesn't sound, it doesn't, it doesn't sound bad, but it doesn't feel good when you hear it at first. It sounds like your car is on diesel. And uh, it shouldn't sound like that, but again, it's not like your car is broken or anything. It's just one of the cons. But that's about it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know this video was kind of long. It was just basically, I didn't get to show you guys the installation, uh, but I just try to talk about it, review the product, and make sure that you guys know what you guys are trying to buy. If you don't mind the clutch shadow, the short shifter, I would definitely, definitely pick it up. It comes with the kit. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like the car content or one more car content, content make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one your boy fat boy aka fat boy sneakers is out have a good day have a good afternoon have a good night whenever you guys are watching this peace